here we are. Day 25. 25 days of hashtag grounded from COVID-mageddon COVID 2020. It's kind of hard to believe it's been 25 days of this. That's five whole work weeks for the most part. It's a little overlap because <clears throat> I didn't start till a Friday. But uh, it's gone by fairly fast. At least I think so. Some people seem to think it's gone really, really slowly, and it's kind of interesting all of the, the memes of, of people, you know, my husband's in the garden about six feet down, those types of jokes. I don't think we've had that issue. We're still enjoying our time together. One thing I did notice, I've noticed, uh, and I especially noticed it yesterday because I mowed the lawn. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I mowed the lawn, is my foot doesn't hurt. Um, much less walking, much less activity, and the plantar fasciitis stuff that was brought on by walking a lot last year on vacation seems to be a whole lot better. And mowing the lawn yesterday, my foot... Uh, was fine the whole time. Same shoes, same lawn, same lawnmower, everything else. So I was pretty glad about that. Hey, that's a silver lining. Uh, another silver lining. The teams that we use at work for doing the online communications or online collaboration and meetings and stuff like that finally got backgrounds. We were waiting for backgrounds. We got backgrounds now. So when uh, I'm in a meeting, I can have the back here look like a picture I took of my deck, or I can have it look like one of the offices in my department that one of the gals said, hey, that's my desk. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. At least I thought it was funny. I think everybody else thought it was funny. So, you know, little things like that, just getting to put your own background on it is, is kind of fun. Uh, our kids got their stimulus checks, so hopefully they find something useful to stimulate the economy with. Got to get the bucks back out there for everybody. Yesterday, nope, not yesterday. Saturday, we went up to Lowe's, and there were a lot of people there. And it wasn't just the time that we were there. I was talking to one of the other people at work, and they also were at Lowe's over the weekend. And the lines are backed all the way back down to the other end of the store. Uh, and it's not just because everybody's six feet apart, because they typically are anyhow, but uh, there was just a lot of people there and it was moving really slowly. Uh, but we bought some plants. We are going to try to grow some tomatoes and green peppers and yellow peppers. The red peppers. And orange pepper. We're getting a lot of different colors of green peppers. Whatever that is. So we got those in pots on the on the deck. So we'll see how those goes. Maybe those go. Maybe I'll be able to do some updates on that. Um, there are people protesting at our capital, and it sounds like a lot of other capitals, because they want this thing to be over. And I think everybody wants it to be over. I'm hoping there's nobody that really wants this going on. I suppose there's always somebody on the edges of the bell curve that would want you know, these things to go on forever. But we, we went into this social distancing and staying safe and all of that because we don't want to spread the virus and the virus is not gone it's not over it's not cured so what are we protesting about that we want to go back to work well we want to go back to work i get that but it's still just as dangerous maybe more so i don't know but it, it seems like an unusual thing to be protesting on it's not Hopefully it's not just an opinion-based thing. There's people that we've paid a lot of money to and that have paid a lot of money to get their degrees on you know, doctors and scientists and people on how to predict this stuff. They're the experts in 
this thing and they're not saying yeah go ahead and go back to work and it's some political move if it was all politics I could get it and is that what the protesters are all thinking that this is a hoax that it's just politics that's keeping us from uh, all going back to work uh, and Florida what is with Florida they had a little trouble voting a few elections ago They have declared wrestling a necessary business. That's a reach. And now they're opening the beaches while their numbers of cases are going up. So the curve hasn't flattened. The curve isn't going down. The curve is still going up. And they're going to open beaches. Um, I haven't looked into it at all. That's about what I know. So, don't take my word for it. Maybe salt air and sunshine kills a virus and you're immune and you're, when you're in the salt air and the sunshine. Don't know. Doubt it. So, today was interesting for work. Um, maybe you saw my other video of my drive home from work. I don't usually do that, but... I, a video on the way home from work. I'll put a link or a thing at the end or something. I don't know. I'm still learning how to use this thing. So we last week decided that we were going to start up today for very specific customers. Customers that are intrastate, I'm sorry, interstate, out of state customers that are considered essential businesses, that we have their orders, we have their um, the product that they need to complete jobs or to meet the criteria of essential you know there are some homes that were under renovation when we sh when the places were shut down and now their house isn't habitable because it doesn't have a bathroom doesn't have a kitchen things like that so it'll be those types of essential business support that we're going to be uh, completing cabinets and orders for uh, the they've We've implemented safety guidelines. I had to go in there today. Uh, it was a coincidence. Comcast was coming in to put uh, some fiber optic cables in for us or terminate our fiber, fiber optics. And I had to get my temperature taken, a little scanner against the forehead and be asked, do you have any symptoms? And that was happening for everybody. Everybody got a briefing that, you know, social distancing and wearing your mask isn't really optional when you're at work like it is when you're out and about um, it's safety it's just the same as any other safety rule that that we have at work um, you'll get coached you'll get counseled you'll get progressive discipline if you can't follow the health safety aspects of the job in addition to the physical safety aspects of the job uh, and Apparently that went really well. It was difficult you know, for people. It's not comfortable. Uh, we're used to working in a noisy environment and touching people on the shoulder to get their attention and you can't do those things. So they had to work through all of those and, and apparently it went really well. I didn't go out on the manufacturing floor because I didn't have a need to go out there. They might have needed me. Now well, we managed around that too, but uh, <clears throat> it went well for them. Uh, the people were in pretty good spirits uh, there were some people that weren't uh, called back that showed up anyhow, and there were some people that were called back and said they'd come up, come in, and they didn't. So it all worked out in the end. Um, you might be able to tell my voice is tired. I had a lot of meetings today online on Teams, and my voice is tired. It's getting sore. And I don't know if I'm talking louder because I'm talking on the Teams thing, or what it is, but I have been noticing this, that my voice is getting tired of talking. Um, anyhow, that's about it. Uh, the weekend was good, it was a beautiful weekend. Uh, worked out in the yard, went shopping. Uh, I have another video, I'll try to put a link, I mentioned that, of the drive home. Uh, there's also another link that's on my channel, maybe I'll post the thing to that. I'll see if I can put a, a trailer or a link or something. I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I've seen other people do it. To uh, uh, what it looks like under laser light when you're speaking 
and the, the respiratory droplets that come out of your mouth. Uh, it's really kind of interesting. You might not ever want to eat at a salad bar again. So anyhow, uh, if you're logged in, you can like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know you, you watched it. I see these numbers of people that watch it. I have no idea who they are. Don't know. Be interesting to know. So again, where, where's the book? Where is it? It's right there. Hashtag day 25 of the grounding. Uh, beard's getting longer. Bye.